There are several golfers who did not live up to expectations for how 2024 might look once the season concluded. It could be due to injuries, dip in form, and a lot of other factors. In fact, most of these players should rebound in 2025. But again, looking only at the past season, here are five who did not thrive as expected. We start with Jordan Spieth. Spieth had a frustrating year plagued by injuries, and notably, it was rough to watch his iron play, normally the bread and butter of his game. He ended the year losing strokes on approach play, one of just two times that has happened since he turned pro. Spieth had only three top 10 finishes in the whole season. Next up is Tom Kim. Kim's year as a whole was not a huge disappointment, but failing to advance past the first round of the FedEx Cup playoff stings. His short game was bad this year compared to where it normally resides, and he just does not have the firepower to make up for that right now. Kim requires every part of his game to be operating at close to its apex for him to play at the level of a top 15 or 20 player in the world. Third on the list is Max Homa. Homa's postmaster's dip was outright bad. He had just one top 10 the rest of the season and posted by far the worst driving year of his career, losing 0.2 strokes per round off the tee after consistently putting up plus zero. Four seasons for the last five years. Next is Matt Fitzpatrick. This year was Fitzpatrick's worst since 2018, statistically, as he put together just three top 10 finishes. There is likely some injury stuff going on with him as well, but since winning the 2022 U.S. Open at Brookline, he has struggled to meet the new bar he set for himself. And finally, we have Ricky Fowler. Fowler had a terrible 2024. He did not have a single top 15 finish and only notched one top 20. He was a below-average PGA Tour player statistically and put up his worst numbers overall since 2008. That's all for today. If you'd like to stay updated on more of the latest golf news, subscribe to this channel and give this video a thumbs up.